it's easy to spot even in heartbreak when a guy starts getting really shady about his phone, stops wanting to call you and see you, or tells you to your face he's confused about you. But what about the more subtle signs most women miss that still end up breaking their hearts? Today, I'm going to show you seven signs you're likely to ignore but need to watch out for to prevent your heart from getting crushed and potentially to make your relationship even stronger than before. The reason why so many women who are smart, intelligent, beautiful get blindsided and surprised in the most negative way and heartbroken with men is because there's subtle signs that take place that are not necessarily the end all be all, but in combination with each other, create the grounds for the connection, for the love, for the intimacy to erode and ultimately die. So what I wanna share with you today is seven signs that you should be on the lookout for that are worth fighting for, that are worth bringing to the table. Obviously, any relationship you're gonna to have to pick your battles. You can't just bring everything up all the time. It becomes overwhelming and it becomes really threatening to your partner. But these things that I'll be sharing with you right now are important enough that you need to raise your little flag internally and bring about in a conscious way or you'll risk experiencing heartbreak when you least expected it. There's also going to be a range and an intensity and a frequency. These are not black and white things. So. The more of the signs that are present in a relationship, the more the heartbreak is going to happen. The more intense these things are showing up, also the higher the likelihood of heartbreak to happen. If you're single right now watching this, you want to take note to make sure that you don't enter into the situations as your relationship progresses. If you're in a relationship right now, I want to make sure that you can really nip this in the bud and make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm going to be sharing the four specific things you need to do, take action on to ensure you can course correct and reverse the trend if this is what's going on right now. The first sign, which is basically a symptom, not a problem, the first symptom or sign that he's about to break your heart is when he no longer lights up when you enter the room. Connection happens at the beginning, sparks fly in some ways. There's going to be depth, hope, fun, aliveness, viscerality taking place in both of you. But what happens when you enter the room and he's no longer excited? There's no physical change in him, in his biochemistry. Obviously, some days, not great days for he's busy, he's working, he's overwhelmed, he's anxious. But when that's the norm, when that becomes the norm that you can enter the room and there's really no change in him, he doesn't light up in any way. That's a sign something's happening with the passion, something's happening with the communication, something's happening with the intimacy that needs to be really addressed. Second sign that he's about to break your heart is when he's no longer hungry to get to know you. He got to know you at the beginning and he assumes that's who you are going forward. He no longer asks about your dreams and hopes and changes. He no longer wants to get to what you think and how you feel. Again, probably he did that at the beginning, but if he stops doing that, if he assumes that you are who you are instead of an evolving, growing, changing human being, that sets a foundation for you to not be seen and for him to really start acting more in a, let's call it a roommate connection than a lover connection, which is what we ultimately want and need in an intimate partnership. Third sign that he's about to break your heart. And sometimes this goes on for months or years, but eventually heartbreak does happen. And it doesn't just happen all at once. It happens gradually, day by day. When you experience backlash, when you healthily, and I underlined here, healthily express your emotions. There's going to be the expression of emotions where you're blaming him and accusing him and criticizing him. And that's not healthy expression of emotions. That's just unloading on him. But when you're healthy about it, when you say, hey, I need to talk to you about something that's really bothering me, or I need to talk to you about something that's scaring me. And you express with kindness and compassion what's going on inside of you and also what you'd love to see as a change in him. And he's putting it back on you. He doesn't acknowledge your emotions. He doesn't acknowledge that there's something that he could do about them. He's being as defensive as can be, even when you are the healthiest expression of you. That's a sign that there's a ticking time bomb that this relationship will eventually implode. There is no connection with someone when you can't healthily express your emotions. There is no connection with someone when you can't ask for something that needs to change in the way you communicate 
in the way you do things, in the way you see things, for you to continue feeling in a healthy relationship. Fourth subtle sign that the guy you are with is going to break your heart is when he expresses and thinks that your bids for intimacy are neediness. When you wanting to have more eye gazing and more physical touch and more conversations about things that are meaningful to you and more conversations about things that are meaningful to him, when he starts thinking that you're being needy, when he starts thinking that that's something weird, why are you doing this? Why can't we just stay and chill all the time? Obviously, there's time for chilling. There's time for Netflix, but there's also time for serious conversations and serious connection and fun connection of the kind that is more than just basic and plain. So whenever a man thinks that intimacy, which is something we crave in a relationship, is something not for him, that's a sign that if this doesn't change for a life of misery and pain, aka 1950s women who were metaphorically and physically in the kitchen making sandwiches for guys, that may not happen in the same way right now, but that level of we can't express ourselves with each other, we want something more than that right now. We want emotional connection. We want spiritual connection. We want to be seen and heard and known and self-expressed. Now, before I share my last three signs, which are really important for you to grasp, and be on the lookout for, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully aware or not aware at all of the root cause where you're still single. What I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine, to actually attract relationships the senses of time. And I've put together a quiz based on all those learnings that you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds or so, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a custom report based on your unique blind spot that's going to share with you the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want and the relationship you want in a fraction of the time. Fifth sign that is subtle but punchy that he's about to break your heart is when he stops planning and dreaming with you. When life becomes such a mundane dread that there's only time for the immediacy of the moment, only time for the basic things that are taking place, only time for what you can touch and feel right now, that's a sign that the relationship is dying. And let me be very clear about how relationships work in life. Relationships are growing or dying. There is no in-between. Your relationship is not stagnant, it's going down. Your relationship is growing, you're in good terms. So when you start planning and dreaming with you, it just means that your relationship doesn't have the foundation right now of hope and meaning of why are we doing this? I mean, I understand that we're connecting and I understand that we're helping each other through this journey called life, but without the ability to have something to look forward to, something that you're working towards, something that you're evolving for, a relationship starts dying pretty quickly. Number six, similar to what I shared before, but different. He comes to life with other human beings in ways he never does with you. He's plain, boring, almost dead inside when he connects with you, but friends come by and he's the life of the party. He's connected. He's excited. Other women, he's friendly and fun and gentlemanly. And with you, if you're off to fend off for yourself for your own life. Whenever the guy has a massive state change, that's visible and palpable with other people, that is never the case anymore with you. That's another symptom that he's close to breaking your heart. And again, breaking your heart doesn't mean he's going to go out and cheat with somebody else. It means that he's going to create the type of connection with you that is soul crushing, is the opposite of life giving. Seventh sign that the guy is about to break your heart is when sex is no longer about you, when sex is all about him, when he's there for his own pleasure, for his own satisfaction, it's not about meaning. It's not about intimacy. It's not about connection. It's not about love. It's not about also making sure that you are fulfilled because it takes a lot more to get you to feel fulfilled than it takes for him to feel fulfilled just based on biology. When that's no longer the thing that's taking place, that's a sign also. That's a symptom that shit's about to hit the fan. Now, what do we do if we're stuck in one of the situations? The first step that is inevitable, but sometimes doesn't take place, is acceptance. Most people, face the situation, but they just don't tell themselves the truth and they don't want to feel how painful it is. So they never tell themselves this situation needs to change. So acceptance is the first step. Second step is the commitment to more. Once you've accepted, this is what's happening right now. 
The second step is to say, I'm not willing to settle for this. I want a lot more. And that doesn't mean settling doesn't mean that you don't have to do your work because relationships are a two-way street. There may be things you're doing and experiencing that are part of the reason why this is happening. This is not to blame men for what's going on. This is just to show you when you see that in him, something needs to change, but something may need to change also in you, in the way you express yourself, the way you communicate yourself, in the way you set boundaries, in the way you feel your own life force. So step number two is saying, I want more. And I don't just want more, I commit to more. Step number three, you're going to have to have multiple conversations with him. It's not just the one conversation changes all. It's multiple conversations of the kind where you share what works, what you're excited about. You share what you need, what you dream about, what you want, how you're feeling inside. Also, what you need to see differently. And then here's the fourth step that most relationships rarely will go for, but is probably the cause of so many relationships not getting what they want. And that is getting help. If you attempt to do this and you're not going somewhere or worse, it's feeling worse than before. It doesn't mean the relationship is ending. It means that you need some help. You need a third party intermediary that can help you or can help him or can help both of you to communicate differently and to share things from a perspective that is not what's taking place right now. Hope this is helpful and useful and insightful. If it is, it means the world to me and to my channel because this is how I grow and can reach more women. If you click like and subscribe, too many people who watch these videos never subscribe. So if you are one of those, just hit subscribe. It's free. And if you find that someone you love needs to hear this, please send it their way. And last but not least, if you want to continue learning how to get the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.